Hello. I am a 1971. Riviera by Buick. Welcome to my car domain page. As you scroll through you will see many interesting and informative things about me, and my brothers and sisters. There are many videos, for you to play, I hope you will enjoy them, and let me know what you think of me, please vote and leave me a note in my guest book. Departing from styling norms as a 1971 Riviera my styling was a complete departure from previous models. My bow tail styling in the rear was quite radical for even then. My wraparound rear window similar to the Stingray, just didn't catch on no. In fact, GM chief designer Bill Mitchell, once said of my boat tail design, the boat tail became more of a tugboat, when we widened it. And wider I was. And longer. In fact my wheelbase was increased to 122 inches only too shorter than a full-sized Buick LeSabre, also new were my exterior pop-open door handles similar to those introduced on Pontiac's Grand Prix in 1969, and also on Olaf's Tornado 471. Mechanically, my 455 V8 is still under my hood, to meet GM's new corporate edict that engines be capable of running on lower octane regular leaded or unleaded gasoline to reduce emissions, my compression ratio dropped from 10.25 to 8.5 to 1, advertised horsepower dropped from 370 to 315 for most of my 455 siblings. But for the first time, since 1966, a higher performance engine was offered, my stage 1 455 is rated at 345 horsepower and 455 foot-pounds of torque. Inside, my driver faces a new wraparound cockpit instrument panel, with engine turn trim and a horizontal sweep speedometer, my front passenger faces an equally curvaceous panel housing account vents above the glove compartment. Most Rivieras are very luxurious. My optional, strato bucket seats and full console, as was my F40 handling, for speaker and FM radio etc. put my price up to over $6,900. In its December 1970 issue, Motor Trend tested a 1971 Rivera Tornado and Thunderbird in an article entitled Almost a Limousine. In that test of a Riviera with the standard engine, they got a 0 to 60 time of 8.4 that's less than 1 second slower than a Vimy powered 69 charger, compared to the T-Bird's 9.2 seconds and Coronado's 10.7 seconds. And still some people think I can't be a muscle car, because I am so big and beautiful. Well my driver knows better, 